Okay, last question and I'm gone. Jazakallahu khairan for each and every word that you delivered. My question is, how can we strive balance among non-mahram colleagues and family? You live in a non-Muslim country where shaking hands is showing respect. So how can we say no without hurting them? Was it about you or me? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, look, we're, I mean, at least in the United States, we're a pretty free society, right? So you could do pretty much anything. You could shake feet in America. You can do silliest things. So when, when you know, a woman sticks out her hand, some people are comfortable with shaking her hand and they'll quote a fatwa or something and whatever. I'm personally not comfortable uh, shaking hands with women. I'm not giving you a fatwa. I'm just saying I'm personally not comfortable. And I'll just say, you know, I, I just, uh, we have this thing in our family where we only, we, we only touch women within our family and we have too much respect for women outside to, we don't have the privilege to be able to touch them. It's a thing. It's a Muslim thing. You know, so I, instead of turning it into something like, Ew, you kafir, I can't touch you. I turn it into, uh, listen, we just out of respect for women, unless they're in our family, we don't, get the, we don't have the right to touch them. It's a, I hope you can respect that. And they do. We just gotta find a smart way of saying things. You know, you don't have to just say, you know, well, we believe in al mushrikuna najas. We believe that the mushrikun are filth. And you clearly a mushrik. Um, so you're lucky I don't have a gas mask on right now to tolerate your presence. Uh, and therefore shaking my hand is out of the question, but here's my sock, you can shake that. <laughs> That's another way of going. You decide which one suits your personality more. <laughs> Thank you so very much everybody. Jazakumullahu khairan for listening. I have to rush out of here because I have to catch a flight tonight. And if I don't, I am going to be Zabiha at home. So. Uh, please make lots of du'a for me. I'll be making lots and lots of du'a for you on my trip back. Be responsible people. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.